Thank you for dinner, Mrs. Scanlon. It was great. Oh, you have to come again soon, sometime when Conrad isn't away on business. But, thank heavens, we have Henry here. Filling in, guarding the homestead. <laughs> Why don't we put on a videotape of the ranch? Then no, you can I see... don't think she's at all interested in our home movies, Mother. But we have those terrific horse shows, and we have Scotty jumping. I don't want to see Scotty jumping. Scotty is dead. I have to apologize for my daughter. She hasn't been herself since that nasty mess with that disgusting teacher. Do you have to keep talking about it? Seems to me that you were the one who talked about it first, weren't you, Sue? Yes, I was. So if you started it, well, then uh, you ought to finish it, don't you think? Henry. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't believe I ever got a clear explanation of exactly what that whole nasty mess was all about. Henry, for heaven's sake. All I've heard is a lot of talk about how he tried to seduce her, tried to have his way with her. I want to know exactly what she's saying he did. What she did to make him think he could make such advances. What are you talking about? Sue didn't do anything. Is that right, Sue? You didn't do anything, huh? No. No, that's not right at all. I was the one who tried to seduce him. Susan! It's true! I tried to kiss him, but he wouldn't let me. It was me! <laughs> On behalf of the entire Blaze staff, AP English, and everybody else here, we know this has been a big ordeal for you, man. It's good to have you back. Thanks for the support, you guys. I don't sweat, man. I don't think my brother ever would have gotten over it if you had really left. That's a good thing I didn't have to. <laughs> I gotta go. I told Mrs. Teasley I'll be right back. Brandon, I just want to say for once, I'm, uh, I'm glad I was wrong. Yeah, me too, Chief. So, are you done being sick now? Mm, I think so. Good. Why? You worried about me, Kelly? Hey, and what are friends for? Listen, I'm... I'm sorry I jumped to conclusions. Don't apologize. You gave me a lot of food for thought. Well, at least you cleared your name. Yeah, I guess. You're thinking about Sue, aren't you? It's hard not to. How's she doing? I don't know. Her mother's keeping her in seclusion, and I was planning to drop by her house later. If you can help her, whatever you can do, it'd be great. Hi, Mrs. Scanlon. Is uh, Sue home? Sue isn't seeing anyone but family right now. Sorry. I just thought that maybe you could just... 